Well, does this kind of look like an isosceles triangle? And if it don't, I'm telling you it is. Let's let this be one, then this is the same length. And what do we know about an isosceles triangle? If that's 90, there's 180 degrees in any triangle. If that's 90, then the other 90 has to be split between these two. Or maybe some of you guys memorized, that's 45 degrees, right? And that's also 45. Now, what would the length of the hypotenuse be here? Well, c squared is a squared plus b squared. So it's the square root of 1 squared and 1 squared, which is the square root of 1 and 1, which is root 2. I want to leave that exact. I don't want it to be some decimal that's irrational. That's like 1.41 something. Okay. Now, if you have this nice triangle, guess what you can do? You can go sine of 45 degrees is... What over what? O over H. What's O here? What's H? So it would be really nice if you had that memorized. It would just make everything so much easier, especially on that part of the test where you're not allowed a calculator. Okay? But worst case scenario, all you got to do is build that triangle. Okay? Then you got it. What is the cosine? of 45 degrees. How does the adjacent differ from the opposite here? It doesn't. So that's also, for this 45, A over H, it's the same thing, isn't it? And then tan of 45 is O over A, but if O and A are the same length, what's 1 over 1? It's just 1. So for 45 degrees, those are three special ratios, okay? That's a special angle, 45 degrees. That was math 11. What's the difference between math 11 and math 12? That's stuff. Now who's got it memorized already? What is 45 degrees in radians? Nope. Well, there's... 90 degrees, which is pi over 2, 45 is half of 90, what's half of pi over 2? Pi over 4, right? A quarter of a pi is a quarter of the way from here all the way over to there. So, same deal, all right? That's a 1, that's a 1. 1 squared and 1 squared, take the square root, that's root 2. Make it a little nicer. So what is sine of pi over 4? If you got the triangle, O over H, okay? Which is the same as cosine pi over 4 and tangent of pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, is 1 over 1, which is just 1. All right? Now, it doesn't matter, of course, what angle I take here. 45, it's still the same up here. Sine of that is O over H. I get the same thing. Why am I saying that? Because this triangle is not the same. Okay, so that's one special angle. What were the other two special angles? What has a lot of the angles in the radians been so far? 30 and 60. Those are the other two special angles. This is, it's not, I know by looking at it, but pretend, just bear with me a sec here. That's an equilateral triangle, okay? And what's 180 divided by three equal angles? 60, 60, and the top one's also 60. Okay, for reasons that you'll see in a sec, let's let that side be 2. That one's going to be 2, and this one's going to be 2. And if I cut this top angle in half, what's half of 60? Yeah, now I got a 30. Okay? 
And if that's cut in half, and this is an isosceles triangle, then this must be two cut in half. So that's going to be a one. So I don't even want you to look at this side anymore. Just look at that triangle where one angle is 30, one 60. The height of this guy would be what? Well, two squared minus one squared is the height squared, or the height is the square root of two squared, four, minus one squared, one. Four minus one is three, so that's root three. So fish. All right, once you got that, it's a piece of cake. So like I said, it would be nice if you had these memorized. And I think some of you guys have that memorized with sine of 30. Yes, good. But sine of 30, here's 30, O over H. If you just need to, if you just know how to draw this triangle, then you really don't need to memorize it. You can just quickly figure it out. Okay? Just takes another five seconds. But if you draw the triangle wrong, well, I guess it's game over. So it's nice to have these memorized. What is cosine of 30 degrees? Root 3 adjacent over 2 hypotenuse. Okay? Is this the same as something else? Sine of 30? Let's look at 60 degrees down here. What's the cosine of 60? For this angle, Cosine is A over H. That's the same thing, isn't it? So sine of 30 is the same as cosine of 60. Therefore, cosine of 30 is the same as sine of what? Sine of 60. Okay? So you can, once you got that memorized, it's like these are the same. It's not, you have to memorize four of them. You kind of only need to memorize two and then. Just remember how the relationships work here, right? So what don't I have? Tangent's the oddball. Tangent of 60 is root 3 over 1. Whoops, 60. Which is just root 3. And tangent of 30, go up here. Tan of 30 is O over A, 1 over root 3. And I know in grade 11, we taught you to rationalize these things. That would be the same as root 3 over root 3. That's root 3 over 3. But I know looking at your assignment, the answers aren't like that. So don't worry so much about it, okay? 1 over root 3 will be 5. Okay? So again, that was math 11. How does it change now? What is 60 degrees? And you know how to convert that, don't you? Six of the, that's pi over three. Okay, so even if you have this picture, you can quickly make this, but I'm hoping you're gonna memorize this. And that is pi over six. 30 degrees is half of 60. What's half of pi over 3? Pi over 6. Okay? Pi over 6 is 30. Pi over 3 is 60. And then we got the same ratios. What's the sine of pi over 6? That's a 1. That's a 2. Then that's a root 3. Sine of pi over 6 is O over h, that's one half. And that's the same as the cosine of pi over three, okay? A over h. Cosine of pi over 6. There's pi over 6. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So once I got my triangle, it's 
pretty easy. And that's the same as what? Sine pi over 3. Yeah, sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. So that's sine and cosine for our special angles. The only other one I don't have is tangent. Okay, tan of 30 degrees or pi over 6 is O over A. And tan of 60 degrees, which is pi over 3, is just root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. Okay. Again, you should stick this in your noodle. Don't even try to cheat. I'll be checking the desk and little notes in your calculators before the test. Okay? But all you got to do is know how to do this triangle. And for our quiz on this stuff on Wednesday, I will draw the triangles for you, but on the test you need to do them on your own, okay? Right? Because this is just grade 10 stuff once you have this triangle. But try to get that in your head. No cacamalera. So all we're doing for the rest of this, and like I said, half of your test is basically, what the heck is this thing? So we know about reference angles. We know about cast and quadrants. Now we just want to know... What is that exactly? Because that's going to be either 30, 45, or 60. Where is this? Sine of pi over 3. That's 0. That's pi over 2. That's pi. That's... Make that bigger. Like half a pi, 1 pi, 1 and a half pi, 2 pi. Where's that guy? Well, if you got it memorized already, how many degrees is that? 60. Or that's a third of the way from here to there, right? That's a whole pi, one-third pi, two-thirds pi, whatever way you want to do it. But you should put that into your head. So draw the angle in standard position. Check. Determine the reference angle. What is that reference angle? Well, that's, it's easy when it's in the first quadrant, right? It's just whatever they're given there. Check. Determine the trig ratio fraction for the given reference angle. Sine of pi over 3, that's the same as sine 60, which is root 3 over 2. Okay, let's go double check. Here's my triangle. I want pi over 3 sine of pi over 3 is O over H, root 3 over 2. Lastly, don't forget this part. It's easy, but a lot of people forget it because they think, I'm so happy I got that. I'll go on to the next question. Is that positive or negative in this quadrant 1? Is sine positive or negative in there? So we do this cast thing, okay? Now it's easy in quadrant 1. Everything's positive. Let's just emphasize it. That's positive root 3 over 2. Now, why are you not allowed calculators? Obvious. Because with a calculator, make sure you're in radians. This is not math 12. This is math 7. Whoop, what am I doing? Sine of pi divided by 3. Guess what root 3 over 2 is? Okay, piece of cake. That's grade 7, sort of. All right, we need to know how to do that. No calculator. Cosine 2 thirds pi. Where's that? All the way over here is 3 thirds pi. I gotta make this smaller. 
Okay, that's three-thirds pi. I want two-thirds pi. That's over here. Now, I'm just following the order here. I don't care how you do it. And I know the first question in the assignment says, hey, if you got a special way you want to do it, be my guest. Some people want to do that sign right away. I know I forget doing this, so let's get that out of the way. That's okay, too. You're going to do step four before you do step two. All right? I don't care. Just make sure you're doing all of this. What is cosine in quadrant two? It's negative. All right. So just because I said it, let's do it. Now, the reference angle, what's my reference angle? How far is it from 2 thirds pi to 3 thirds pi? 1 third pi, or pi over 3. Okay, what's the cosine of pi over 3? What's the cosine of 60 degrees? 1 half. And if you're doing step four last, well, it's negative in that quadrant, okay? Only signs positive in quadrant two. Okay? Just a few more. I don't know how many you want me to do. Seven over six pi. So the first thing I do is go that's 6 sixths pi, right? That's a whole pi. So 7 sixths pi is 1 sixth bigger, bigger than 6 sixths. So the reference angle is pi over 6. I want tan of pi over 6. Tan of 30 degrees is 1 over root 3. Let's actually do that. I've got this triangle. 2, that's a 2, but if I cut it in half, that's going to be a 1. So that's root 3. This is 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. That's 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. And I want the tangent of pi over 6, which is O over A, 1 over root 3. Is that the final answer, or do you got to do one other thing? Is that positive or negative in quadrant 3, tangent? Tan is positive there. That's the only thing that is positive. So yes, I'm going to emphasize it and put a plus. So I remembered to myself I did the sign. Okay? Sign, let's go over here. Sine of 7 fourths pi. Ooh, that's my other triangle. Let's do it. Okay. 45 degrees means that's like an isosceles triangle. It doesn't matter if you do it that way or this way. I think it was like that on the other side, whatever. That's a 1, that's a 1, that's a 45, which is pi over 4. And if that's 1 and 1, 1 squared and 1 squared is 2. So that's root 2. So 7 fourths pi, that's 4 fourths pi. All the way over to here is how many pi? Is that equal to 2 pi? 8 fourths pi? Okay, that's how I do it. You want to do it your way, be my guest. That's 1 fourth pi away from that. Okay, so I'm going all the way over to 7 fourths pi. That didn't sound good. So my reference angle is pi over 4. Okay. What is the sine of pi over 4? One over root 2. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And sine in quadrant 4 is negative.
Okay. Speaking of negative, let's go the negative direction. Tan of negative two thirds pi. Positive, I go this way. Negative, I go clockwise, right? So that is 3 thirds pi. It doesn't matter if I go positive or negative. That's pi in either case. Let's write it so we can read it. Negative 2 thirds of the way, 1 third, 2 thirds. What's my reference angle? I'm 1 third away from pi. It's positive, right? It's just a reference angle. Just the distance to the nearest x-axis, always positive. And tangent of pi over 3 is what? O over A. Yeah, root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. Is that positive or negative in quadrant 3 for tan? Positive. Okay? Minus 11 sixths. So that's 6 sixths negative direction. If I go all the way over to here, how much is that in six? That's 12 six. I only want to go 11 six. So that's one sixth away from 12 six, right? And if it's one sixth away, then that's my reference angle. So I want cosine of pi over six which is cosine of 30 degrees, which is root 3 over 2. It's cosine positive in quadrant 1, Brianna. Yes, Mr. Watson, it is. Thank you, Brianna. Okay. Uh, let's just do one more. Negative 20 third sixths. So first thing you want to do is kind of get rid of all the whole circles, right? I just did this kind of one because it's in six. From there to there is how many sixths? 12 sixths, right? 2 pi. So I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to get rid of 12 sixths and what do I got left over? That's the same as if I take a 12 away, I've got 11 left, right? Didn't I kind of just do that one? I did. That's the same as that. Oh, that one was so quick, maybe we'll do the last one. Nine fourths of a pi. If I go all the way over to there, that's eight fourths pi. So I'm going to take away that eight fourths pi, right? And then I got what left? One fourths pi, which is just pi over four. which is my reference angle, and sine of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2, which is positive in quadrant 1. Root, square root. You want to at it? Oh, nice. oh, whoa. It's on wheels, whoa. mister. Hang on.